After starting the day on a firm note, markets plunge in the second half amid growing concerns over rising Omicron cases and global inflation. Sensex declined over 500 points to shut shop above 58,000. Nifty also plunging 143 points and slipping below the 17,400 mark. Investors lost about 1 lakh crore rupees today. Bajaj Twins, Reliance dragging the markets lower. M&M, Tara Consumer also among some of the top laggards. Gains in select IT counters lent some support. Tech Mahindra, Wipro, Access Bank, SBI Life and Hindalco among gainers in trade today. Well, markets taking a knock today on account of uh, fears, uh, of course, overarching fears with regard to the Omicron virus. Uh, that's definitely uh, affecting markets somehow, but we did see overall as well um, across the board uh, sectors are seeing a shave off in today's session. Uh, let me go across to our global business editor then, Mukherjee, joining us now then. Uh, what's your take on the kind of market direction we're headed in for this December? For the week at least, we started on quite a poor note. Hi, Abha. It's still in volatile terrain, the market, because it did bounce back quite well last week, uh, contrary to popular expectations. And this week has again begun on a slightly more somber note. Uh, I think the market's still trying to find its feet because uh, the kind of triggers which are coming in are very confusing. Last, we last week, the real fear was with Omicron. But thankfully, fingers crossed, in India, it's not exploded yet like it has in some of the Western countries. So I think on that front, investors are still waiting and watching. Uh, the key this week, I think, will be uh, what the U.S. Fed signals in terms of interest rates because in the middle of the week we have that outcome of the U.S. Fed meeting. And while the Fed has already signaled that it does not believe that inflation is transitory any longer, uh, if it does convey to the market that it will st step on the interest rate hike accelerator earlier than envisaged, then I think the markets might see a and heightened bout of volatility. I think what is happening in India is quite clear that global investors because of the US situation, uh, the US Fed situation on interest rates and because of Omicron are probably uh, in a more nervous zone than investors back in India because you can see that FIRs have been selling consistently in December but domestic investors have been buying. Uh, I think that sort of reflects the kind of dichotomy in mood and sentiment amongst between global and local investors and that might well continue if the US Fed were to signal a hawkish kind of stance today. The good thing Abha is that below 17,000 on the Nifty you are seeing some buying materializing. So a lot of the investors who have not invested earlier are trying to use this correction the moment it deepens a bit uh, it goes below 17,000 to top up on stocks and as long as that continues Chances of a major drawdown in the market might be averted, but I still think we are in volatile ter terrain and uh, the last word has not been said about how, which direction markets will finally strike out in December.